Come on up, guys. This is one of uh, my favorite things that we do at Remembrance Community Church is we dedicate our children. If you've been in church or, or if you haven't been in church, maybe it's a different tradition. You'll know that some churches uh, baptize babies and then they do like a confirmation or something like that when, when the child makes the faith their own. Um, we don't do that. We, we dedicate our children, and then once someone becomes a believer, we baptize. So we do it a little bit differently um, than, than you might be used to. And that's okay. And it actually is a biblical thing. If you, if you go all the way back thousands of years ago in the Old Testament, there was this, this Jewish woman who, who became uh, iconic to the Jewish people. Her name was Hannah, and she dedicated her son um, named Samuel. He became a really big deal. And interestingly enough, um, when Jesus was born, his parents ended up dedicating him, it says, as was customary in that time. So somehow along the way, Hannah dedicates um, Samuel. It becomes a big deal, and the Jewish people, kind of, it kind of catches on. Um, at Jesus, when Jesus is born, they're dedicating. Uh, many, many church traditions have been doing it all along. So for thousands of years, this is kind of a normal thing. This isn't something we made up. It's, it, it has biblical origins. And we love it. And, uh, and so what we want to do first is I want to give you guys an opportunity. As Jamie pointed out, there's some, some VIPs, some people who have come specifically because they love you guys and, and, and want to be here for this date. You guys want to be, help us recognize some of those people? call them our family. It's friends who have become family and they've been walking life with us probably for 10, 12, 15, something like that years. Um, and then hopefully we're FaceTiming my granny and my aunts um, so they can see this as they're just very much a part of my spiritual legacy um, in my life. So we're all here. them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house, and when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. And so the reason why I thought that was really cool is because it's, it's giving direction for just, for just general life, and especially when you have kids. Obviously, it talks about children. And it starts with this. You guys, first of all, need to take care of your relationship with the Lord, right? your soul, your, your own spiritual health. Um, and then, in, in building on doing that, you, you, you pass that along to Paisley, right? And, and, it, and it, it's interesting. I think family devotions are great, and everyone has to figure out how to do that. But this isn't isolating it to that. This is really saying, like, with all of life. Like, when, when you get up, when you go to bed, when you're out doing the things that you're doing, when you're driving, when you're sitting there watching the Giants versus Dodgers, when, right? Well, sometimes. Yesterday was a bad day for the Dodger fans. But, uh, but anyways, in all of these things, she's watching you guys. She's, she's going to notice. The things that you teach her are going to be important, and, the, and, the, and the, what she sees, what you teach her with your lives, 
is what's, which is what's important. And so when, when, we, when we think about baby dedication, it's kind of an interesting thing because yes, you're, you're dedicating Paisley, but really is what you're doing is you're saying you're dedicating yourselves. You're committing yourselves to be this type of parent, to raise Paisley in a faith type environment and uh, and so it's 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 we always say it like this it's it's a simple thing to do baby dedication but it's very significant and it's an outward it's an outward acknowledgement we're doing it today we're we're celebrating something that I know you guys have already done from before Paisley was even born you guys have began saying I want I want to I want to raise her in, in in God's care and in God's family and so it's a heartfelt thing. And I want to give you guys an opportunity, since it's something from your hearts that we're celebrating, what does this mean to you guys? Um, real simply, it just comes down to we want, we want our kid to love Jesus the way we do. Um, we look at it just as, as important as a marriage vow. We want to vow to teach Paisley what it, what it means to be a Christian and what it means to, uh, to walk in that way. And uh, we want her to treat others the way Jesus treats others. Um, so it's about Marin, um, just like just like with Mary did that. And then it's also um, it's a request from the church and all of our family, you know, that they would raise her um, as as well as, as we're going to try, and they would keep us accountable um, to the Lord. And if we get out of, out of line, we're asking for people to set us back on, on the track. So um, we don't expect to drop her off at church and have the church take care of her values. <laughs> we don't expect. All of our values are going to come from us. We think it's, it's a village to, to raise the kids. So we're, we're asking for that from you guys, and we're promising to raise our networks. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yes. That's how LeBron James said. Everything to add, Nikki? just acknowledge that, that your hand is on her, that your hand is on their lives, that our lives are meant to be lived one step at a time, and, and, and in each step of Paisley's journey, I just pray that you would give strength and encouragement.
to them as her as her parents that you would that you would that you would guide her steps that you would make yourself known to her in every way that she would know you as her god as her comforter as her as her guide as her counselor um, that she would look to you for each next step and i pray that you would continue to help tim and nikki to to give to surrender everything to you um, to 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 realize that that they want to be successful in the things that matter most. That you would that you would give them peace as they as they prioritize, as they can't do everything, and, and as they have to, to say yes to some things and no to some things. I pray that you would give them wisdom in how to raise Paisley and in every way. We just pray that you would give them the help that they need. That she would grow up to love you, to know that you love her. And to love others well. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.